AI is much more advanced than people realize, and the pace of progress is much greater than people realize. You know, it'd be fairly obvious if you saw a robot walking around talking and behaving like a person, you'd be like, whoa, that's like, what, what's that? You know, that would be really obvious. What's not obvious is a huge server bank in a dark vault somewhere with an intelligence that's potentially vastly greater than what a human mind can do. I mean, its eyes and ears would be everywhere. Every, every camera, every microphone, every device that's network accessible. That's what it, really what AI means. It's not like a robot running around. The robots would simply be, they'd be like a finger of, of the AI. It's possible that there could be what's called a, 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 a bad utility function. A, a computer will do exactly what its goal is. Humanities position on this planet depends on its intelligence. So if, if our intelligence uh, is exceeded, it's unlikely that we will remain in charge of the planet. I am concerned about um, certain directions that AI could take that would be uh, not good for the future. I, I think it would be fair to say that like, not all AI futures are benign. If we create some digital superintelligence that exceeds us in every way by a lot, um, it's very important that that be benign. And so actually with, with, uh, with a few others, um, I created uh, OpenAI. And the intent with OpenAI is to democratize AI power. Um, and there's a quote that I love by, uh, from uh, Lord Acton. He was the guy that came up with power corrupts and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Um, which is that uh, freedom consists of the distribution of power and despotism in its concentration. And so I think it's important if we have this incredible power of AI that it not be concentrated in the hands of a few and potentially lead to a world that we don't want.